Hi, I'd like a set menu. Oh, by the way, is it one plus one? One plus one. Hi everyone, my name's Scott. In today's video, I'll teach you how to avoid five common Conglish phrases when eating out. Let's begin. Number one, this is service. When a restaurant, bar or cafe gives you something for free, we say this is complimentary. This suggests the free item is part of the dining experience. If we order the sharing plate, we get complimentary side dishes. If we order the sharing plate, we get complimentary side dishes. It says on the menu that each drink comes with a complimentary portion of olives. It says on the menu that each drink comes with a complimentary portion of olives. You may also hear that something is on the house. Again, this implies something is free, but is usually used when a business is apologizing to a customer or responding to a complaint. Sorry for the wait, the drinks are on the house. Sorry for the wait, the drinks are on the house. Your chips are cold, sorry, I'll replace them on the house. Your chips are cold, sorry, I'll replace them on the house. Number two, let's Dutch pay. Instead we say, shall we split the bill or let's split the bill? If you're in a big group, you may say something like, how are we paying? Are we all happy to split the bill evenly? How are we paying? Are we all happy to split the bill evenly? Ask the waiter if we can split the bill between seven people. Ask the waiter if we can split the bill between seven people. Number three, this is one plus one. In this case, we might get confused with this Congress phrase as it doesn't suggest anything is free. Whilst it is grammatically correct, it doesn't carry the same meaning. Instead, you should say that something is buy one, get one free. Or some people shorten it to bog off. The ice cream is buy one, get one free. If you'd like to grab another one. The ice cream is buy one, get one free. If you'd like to grab another one. I ended up buying four because they were buy one, get one free. I ended up buying four because they were buy one, get one free. Of course, the offers may vary. Here's some examples. Shall we stock up on toothpaste? Is buy two, get one free. Shall we stock up on toothpaste? Is buy two, get one free. I'll get you a drink if you want. They're buy one, get 50% off. I'll get you a drink if you want. They're buy one, get 50% off. Number four, one shot. This phrase is interesting as people may interpret it in different ways. One shot is often used to suggest that someone has one opportunity to achieve something. In a drinking context, one shot suggests you want to drink a shot of liquor. Instead, if you want someone to take a sip of their drink, you could say bottoms up or cheers. However, if you want someone to finish their drink without stopping, you could say down it or down in one. I ordered everyone champagne, so bottoms up and enjoy. I ordered everyone champagne, so bottoms up and enjoy. The taxi is here, you'll have to down your drink. The taxi is here, you'll have to down your drink. Number five, I'd like a set menu. Our final Conglish mistake relates to the word menu. This only relates to the lists of food that you can choose from. Rather than a spicy set menu or a beef set menu, you should use the term meal. This is most commonly used in fast food restaurants. I'd like the chicken burger meal. I'd like the chicken burger meal. Could I have the veggie wrap meal, please? Could I have the veggie wrap meal, please? In most restaurants, every main dish comes with certain side dishes. So there is no need to clarify unless there's more than two options. I'd like the sea bass with roasted potatoes. I'd like the sea bass with roasted potatoes. Could I have the beef? With mashed potatoes? Could I have the beef with mashed potatoes? I hope this has been helpful. Leave us a comment telling us about the Conglish you use and it may feature in a future video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.